Hi friends, welcome back. So in this video, I'll be providing certain interview questions related to performance testing. I'll be providing around 10 plus uh, interview questions related to performance testing in this video. Let's go by one by one. First question is, what are the attributes of a performance testing? The first attribute of performance testing is speed of the application. Here we'll be validating how fast the application is really responding for a given input that is the first uh, attribute will be testing it the second one is scalability of the application up to what maximum load the application can take that is the second parameters or attribute will be validating as part of the performance testing and third one is stability of the application whereby putting the various different loads just to we see whether application is taking care all those load without having any challenges still the application still stable even with the different loads different situation then that kind of validations will be performing as part of stability factors so these are the three important attributes which we normally consider for performance testing then the second question is what are the different types of performance testing? There are various uh, different types of uh, performance testing is available. The first testing is a load testing. So in the load testing, we'll be validating how much user load it can take by the application. That kind of validation will be performing using load testing. The second testing is stress testing. Basically, we'll try to put a lot of stress on the application just to see to what point, what situation beyond that situation application is going to completely break. So in order to test that kind of scenarios or situations, we'll be utilizing the stress testing. The third type of testing is endurance testing. So endurance testing is nothing but where we'll try to put a load, consistent load or wearing load for a very long duration, maybe two days, 10 days, 15 days, just to see still the application really works. Even if you are trying to put the load for many days or weeks or months, that kind of validation we'll call it as a endurance testing then the fourth type of performance testing is spike testing so the spikes testing is nothing but where we try to simulate a situation where we are going to put the load very suddenly we will try to put the load abruptly and we will be seeing how the application is really behaving for that kind of load is called it as a spike testing then the fifth one is volume testing in the volume testing will be checking by pumping the various uh, set of data into a database basically we'll try to put different loads into the database and to see whether still application is really working without having any challenge then the last type of testing in performance testing is scalability testing so we'll be checking uh, in this test uh, how the application is really behaving over the increase of different loads uh, for a given application these are the certain type of uh, performance testing we do normally while performing a non-functional testing. Next question is, what are the five most common performance bottlenecks uh, which you can think of? The first one is CPU utilization. The performance can break or performance can be doing good. Maybe because if CPU utilization is very good, then performance of the application will be very good. If there is a bottleneck in the CPU utilization, then your application will degrade. Similarly, we have a memory utilization. We also have a network utilization challenges. We also have a software limitations. Bottlenecks can come from the hard disk issues or it can come from software issues. It can come from the network issues or it can come from the memory issues or it can come from CPU issues as well. These are the five common performance bottlenecks normally we'll be seeing in any testing project. So what is all about a throughput? So throughput is nothing but it is a number of transactions per second which application can handle. And the, the formula for this is number of requests sent by total time taken to hit that server and also plus getting back the response. That is all about a throughput. So what is all about a baseline testing? The baseline testing is also a kind of testing which is performed in performance testing. When we are testing an application for the first time, we will try to capture these metrics which we call it as a baseline metrics such as response time, throughput, CPU utilization, etc. These parameters, these metrics, whatever we capture during the initial part of the testing, that type of uh, metrics we call it as a baseline metrics 
or that kind of testing we call it as a baseline testing in performance testing what is a benchmarking testing so benchmarking testing is similar to the baseline testing but here we are going to compare our testing matrix in performance testing with against to the industry standard available in the market similarly for example uh, for the banking domain what is a standardized matrix or what is a standard data which is available in the industry same uh, data should be able to cope up with this application or not that kind of validations will be ma making as part of the benchmarking testing what is concurrent user load in performance testing the concurrent users are the numbers of users engaged with the application or a site at a given time let's say maybe 100 people 200 people 1000 people millions of people everybody works together in a parallel way everybody try to access concurrently then how the application is really going to behave that is call it as a concurrent user it is not the one by one user everybody is going to access the application in a particular time whenever we're trying to do this kind of uh, concurrent user load testing where we will be sending uh, artificial user especially by using performance tools we will try to simulate the uh, users we will try to simulate the user load by putting various uh, stress onto the infrastructure or to the system just to see whether application can really give a right uh, throughput or right response time for a given sustained period or by giving a by giving a huge load to the application still application can really performs better or not so what is all about a bottleneck so what is all about a bottleneck this is a common keyword or a common thing we normally use in performance testing a bottleneck is nothing but a capacity of an application the capacity of an application is restricted by a single component for example in a bottle there is a neck will be there the neck if it is very small the flow of the water in that bottle becomes very slow so that is all about a bottleneck for example when software too slows down to respond or software may shut down on certain operation or software may get angered while performing certain operations so these all these things we call it as a bottleneck of a given application what are the some of the best performance testing tools available in the market there are few tools available in the market such as testilio load view silk performer rational performance tester apache jmeter this so what is all about performance profiling so the profiling is a mechanism to show where the problem really exists and because of which issue that problem is arising in order to find out that so we'll be using a profiling the profiling basically will try to identify a particular part of your system that is causing the performance issue so that we can put all our efforts in that area to resolve the issues related to performance testing that we call it as a performance profiling what are the key metrics we normally watch while performing a performance testing the key metrics we will be watching while performing performance testing is the processor utilization memory utilization disk space utilization we will also be validating a throughput and response time so these are the certain uh, metrics we will be keep watching while performing a performance testing